Ever since I started buying toys, my whole purpose was to do these uh, tutorials or toy photography. I am going to explain to you why I haven't been doing that because I am in a transitionary uh, time of my life here where I am right now in the kitchen and it sucks. So I am going to move into my room any any minute now actually. The, the guys are about to paint and I'm about to move in there with my wife and uh, we're going to have a whole big space. So this is what I have to work with right now. So if you hear dogs barking this and that, it's because I am where I am and whatever. I'm going to do much better once we have my own space. So look, I'm a wedding photographer. All my stuff is everywhere. It's dusty because of the construction going on. I have a whole lot of toys and equipment and screens and well, you know, like I said, I want to make more tutorials. I want to make them nicer, but this is what I have to work with right now. And I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, digital backdrop right there. A light on the chair for a backlight. And then my camera and my Ninja Atomus so you can actually see the screen. And this is gonna come into play a lot more later. On the right hand side is a 24 to 70 2.8 millimeter lens. This is about a $2,000 lens, maybe $1,800 now. You don't need that for toy photography. You don't need this one either, but this is my preferred one. It's a Macro 105. I love it. And my Nikon Z6 II. It's a full frame camera. You also don't need that. What you do need is a camera. You can do it with your phone. I probably should have done it with my phone too. God damn it. So this is going to be my room <laughs> coming up soon, today, hopefully. All my toys that I have to... Uh, play with and unbox and review which there's a whole lot and there's some more in storage so yeah uh, I kind of went nuts with this but uh, I have a whole lot of uh, content to create and uh, in between weddings so stay tuned okay so the thing is which lens should you use I realize not many of you have this 24 to 70 lens but this, this is the figure at 24 millimeters this is obviously not gonna work so you're gonna have to zoom into it but even when you zoom into the most you can zoom in 70 millimeters it does a decent enough job I think I get the shot but I like my macro better the 24 millimeter will work if you have an ample amount of space and a huge diorama you want to get this epic shot but zooming into 70 is much better. The difficult part about using the macro lens is that it's a prime lens and what that means is that it doesn't zoom in or out so if I want to get a full body shot of the figure I have to move back. You guys can hear the dogs barking I already told you my situation. Look this is me messing with the light in the back. You can see it kind of moving around, right? So you don't want to get that flare in the screen, on the screen. This is the way it looks here with the backlight there. You want to try to not get any of the glare on the screen. That's a little difficult with a digital screen. If it was some kind of like paper backdrop, you really wouldn't have this problem, but you'd be a lot more limited. So you need to try to move the figure around until you don't get those glares, see? It's difficult. This is the, the hard part about using a digital backdrop, but it can be so much more rewarding because you have a whole lot of uh, backdrops to use, unlimited amounts. So this is the shot full, full bodied at 105 millimeters. Can you tell the difference between this one and the one shot at 70? I'll show it to you. The difference is really subtle. The backdrop changed just a tiny bit, but the, the reason I like my macro lens to do toy photography is that you can get in so close and get every little detail. So you can take a wide shot of it, but you can also get super close to it and get even more shots. I hate using my tripod to take photos, so I'm it's struggling to find because I'm using the tripod, but in the future I'll go handheld. But yeah, look, this is you can get in even closer than that. I should have done that, but I already told you my situation and where I am, and uh, I'll do better. Here's the figure. Please subscribe again, guys. I would really appreciate that. Yeah.